Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk. This time, a little bit different. Apart from almost getting run over by cars and bikes, there they go. I'm in Furl today in East Sussex, and that is the, La the Ram pub behind me. The question is, why am I here? Well, this is rather different because I've been asked if the Bald Explorer will go on a birthday walk with a birthday boy. The birthday boy is Ed Milam. Hello, Ed. Hello. Hi, Richard. Your wife got in touch with me. She certainly did, yeah. And said, you love the videos. Yes. And would I do a video with you? And I said, more than happy. Superb. So, uh, yeah, some uh, coins were pressed into my hand. So here we are. Let's go for Fantastic. a walk. We're in Fur. Oh, by the way, you have this rather lovely dog, um, Bo. Hello, Bo. Say hello. How are you, Bo? Hello. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. We're in Furl. What a lovely place. Now this is a, a place that you chose to do yes. our walk. Yep. And it is a rather special place. We'll find out a bit about that, but I want to know a little bit about you. Sure. Um, so I know you're a chartered surveyor. I'm a chartered surveyor, yep. You work in London. Yes. But you love the Sussex countryside. So yes, absolutely. And um, I spend an awful lot of time on the train and very much a frustrated explorer myself and yes yeah, so i really enjoy your videos oh, that's and very kind. Uh, for my 50th birthday uh my wife um very kindly suggested knowing that i love your videos that uh, i could actually do a walk with you which is a brilliant idea for <laughs> so well, I here have to i say, am i have not had that uh, approach to me before so i'm yeah. absolutely chuffed myself yeah, yeah. Now, I also know, because you've got a picture there on your T-shirt, that you have a tractor and you oh, yes. like pootling about, your lovely yes. wife Emma said. Oh, right, OK, yeah, yeah. And we have uh, uh, horses in a very minor way, so um, the tractor comes in quite handy, looking after the paddocks and that sort of thing. Um, so, yes, a very fitting T-shirt for, for our walk. So here we are in this rather quintessential English village. Just look at this wonderful yep. architecture. So in chartered surveying, what, yeah. you're, you're looking at architecture and the, I don't really know what chartered surveyor really does. You survey things. Yes, I work for a property company. A lot of that is, is um, about actually retail property and oh, okay. town centre regeneration and... and uh, assembling sites and trying to. So this is as far away from <laughs> from that kind of thing. This has got nothing to do with any of that whatsoever. Excellent. Well, this so, is just uh, just yeah. so beautiful. Now, I'm I'm right in thinking that the Furl Estate own the village. Yes. So this is one of the old old sort of estates that's I think allegedly not been particularly broken up. And I think let's just go and have um, a look at this post sure. office. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? Fantastic. Yeah, so not being broken up, established and there, it says 1780. Yes. And um, so in terms of the estate, um, it's owned by a family called the Gage family, which I believe they've owned since the sort of mid 1500s. Um, and I think that previously it was originally gifted to um, one of King William's, William the Conqueror's Norman squires or noblemen. Gosh. Um, and it's a very large rural estate with obviously um, a village in it which is um, predominantly still owned by the estate and it has a wonderful unique history and the identity of all the buildings is very much preserved by by the family and i think there's an awful lot of people who actually rent the cottages and the houses in the village who actually still work here and have responsible jobs helping the estate to survive and continue and uh, i mean this is what brings people in you know people love to come to a place like this and yep. i mean i'm often on my walks saddened really by a lot of the modern stuff that's going up because you wonder if in a hundred years time people are really going to be wandering around looking at those sort of properties yes then this incredible landscape that we see yep. built from natural or local materials and yeah you know they weren't trying to make them look lovely no, <laughs> they exactly. were just practical exactly i mean in one word this has real character um and i think a lot of those modern developments you're talking about don't um so this is this is still pretty unique and in terms of the location 
Um, it connects straight up to the South Downs. It's wonderful for walking, wonderful for riding. Um, it's just a beautiful place to be. I think we should go and have a look at the church, don't you? Which, uh, there are a couple of different ways in. There's a, a lovely avenue way in, but that's, we've passed that. If we come up here, past these lime trees, we can see it in the distance there. Um, I think we can get in here, I'm not sure. It looks, uh, looks promising. Shall we try that? Yeah, let's have a look, after you. <laughs> Wow, this, oh yeah, look at this. This is lovely, a little bit of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, sort of like a meadow of wild grasses and a peaceful place to be. And there, the church. And I forget what it is called. Is it St. Mary's is it, or St. Peter's? St. Peter's? Yes, St. Peter's, that rings a bell. Flint, Sussex Flint. Yes, beautiful Sussex. Sussex flint and then some sort of sandstone I guess on the side here. Let's walk around this way because it's, it's it's in the sunshine. So you get out most weekends do you when you're when you're not working after being up in the smoke to get the Sussex fresh air? Um, yeah I very much try to. We um, I walk a lot with the dogs, uh, I walk a lot with friends and um, I spend quite a, my quite a lot of my time chasing uh, my wife and daughter on their horses as well which uh, <laughs> I bet so, that's fun yeah so yes absolutely love getting out but um you told me that some time ago you did the uh, the marathon was it the london marathon i did the brighton marathon in 2010 yes right. absolutely okay not a great time but it was good fun and i'm glad i did it so do you still do a bit of running now running S after still yep still do a little bit of running just to try and keep fit and uh and also walking so yes and i i mean i think personally walking for me is is just a fantastic way of yep because you can spend time you know you can pause and look yep. and take in the scenery um which of course is something i do with my camera rather a lot yeah um i gather also your your good lady sent me some information about you um right. that you like reading books on um War Heroes. Yes. Um, and what was the other one she said? Um, oh, Music Legends. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, quite a diverse so, range of uh, reading material. People who will, will know if they've watched my videos regularly that we have uh, the wonderful Dump Man on who's a Motorhead fan. Yes. Um, so who, who are your big so, music heroes? I think my, mass my main one would be David Bowie, actually. Um, and I absolutely love his work. I love his lyrics. Um, I love um, I, I love the connection and the subject matter in his songs, which is everything from sort of mental health to homelessness to um, yeah, all sorts of various things, and as well as love and all the normal yes. sort of topics. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I love his I love his work, and I think you know um, that's something that I will, I will always have. I love the Rolling Stones. Um, yeah, and I love a lot of modern music as well. I think there's. there's Music is just fantastic. And it lifts you, doesn't yeah, it? And exactly. takes you, yeah. takes you somewhere. And it, it is amazing how your mood can be changed. You, you know, you're, you can be in a, a terrible mood or whatever mood, and it can just take you on that yep. journey. Yeah. Which is uh, amazing. Let's just uh, finish off our walk down this rather beautiful aisle here and leave sure. the church behind. Uh, there's quite an interesting egg gravestone over there, Richard. I don't know oh gosh, wondering. I haven't seen that. I came when I knew we were going to do this walk. I yeah. uh, took a little recce with Julia, um, who unfortunately can't be here today, which I'm sorry to say, but uh, we missed that. We came down here and thought, oh yeah, what a beautiful place. But wow, I wonder what that's all about. Have a look. look at that. On and on it says. And on and on. Oh, hang on. I've got to uh, not tread on the grave. Come round here. Life's dancers dance on and on and on. Wow. So a dancing lady, presumably. Pres presumably, yeah. 1946. And her name is... Dearest Rose, Rouse, R-O-U-S-E, Rouse, Dearest Rouse. What a fascinating and unusual 
gravestone. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. I like that one. Yeah. Gosh, well, I think um, when I go, I'll probably have a, a domed head type thing with a pair of glasses on. Yeah, well, you could fit the logo. Fit some glasses on one of those, couldn't you? It look very <laughs> good indeed. <laughs> that's absolutely br brilliant. Now, Ed, we are going to do another walk. Yep. We're going to do a, pr a proper walk. Um, where are we going to go in our next video? So the plan is to effectively walk straight out of the back of the village, Richard, and up the uh, straight up a footpath up to Furl Beacon, um, which I think is about 700 and something metres. Um, I was going to say 700 height. and something miles. Then. Yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's quite a good walk. Um, Excellent. We should get a really good view at the top there to uh, east and west coastline, possibly the Isle of Wight and especially today so yes, yeah good visibility well for the moment that's uh, all we've got time for on this video ed thank you so much pleasure. for letting me take you around on a birthday walk thank you it's a pleasure for me because i've me. Not, not done that before uh, don't forget to follow like subscribe leave a comment if you would like a birthday walk i don't know whether i should open the doors to this but if you would do get in touch that would be fun you can become a patron at baldexplorer.com but for now cheerio thanks ed pleasure bye-bye